Hello dear sub colleagues and sub friends. I decided to start making my videos with camera, so to say, and the main reason for this is the fact that I'm a big fan of the personal contact and I really want to get to know you better, get to know my subscribers better. And basically, if you have any objections or if you don't like something about the quality of the videos or if you wish something more to, in, in these videos which I'm recording, I would really welcome this and you're able to write down into the comments what exactly you would prefer to be different or whether maybe you have some, some advices for me. I would really welcome this. And this is it guys, I'm not really going to talk a lot about this, this whole thing. From now on you would see me on the camera and basically now I would like to summarize what we are going to see in this video, what we are going to make in this video. And in this video we are going to program a bit in ABAP and we are going to put, so to say, selection tabs when a report when a report is executed and basically this means that you would be able to have different tabs with different selection options when an, a report is executed or the people who are using the report would be able to select differently um, what the parameters for the execution of the report would be so let's now jump into the system so we are already in the system so to say but we are not logged in already and this is the first step which I'm going to to do now I'm going to log myself in just a second because I mistaken my password here but now we are in we the first transaction that we are going to execute is the SE80 or the ABAP workbench and we are going to go to Waco objects because we would like to make a new program. Here are some test programs and things um, are actually here are some programs or so to say technical objects which I created for, for the YouTube channel in the past videos. And now we are going to click on programs and create. It's in German here, but this should not bother you. Basically, you have just to create a program here. And we will call the program something like Z test selection tabs. You don't have to select anything here. Basically, it should stay as it is. And basically, what we are going to do now is we are going to write a small program in which we have different tabs when the report is executed for the selection. Okay, so we created the report and the first thing which we need is the, uh, is the selection screen. So basically we write something like selection screen, begin, begin of tabbed, tab block, which we, which we will call now tab for, and you need to specify the lines which you, you have for these tabs. And basically we, would now, um, we now have to provide, so to say, the tabs and this, we do this through selection screen, tab, in brackets we need the length, which will say, which we will now set to 20. Then you need to say tab, tab one, then use a command and then tab one, default screen to, let's say, to 1001. Basically, we now need this, this uh, row three times, but here, here we have two and here we have three. Um, sorry, it, it, it actually it doesn't really matter how exactly we'll do this, but let's say in this way it's okay. We also have to name the tabs different. To be able to differenti differentiate among them, we will do this. And then we have to um, end this selection, selection screen. And we do this through end of block and then tab. Okay. So basically now we have to say also what exactly these, uh, the, what exactly the subscreens would be. And we do this again through selection screen, begin uh, of screen 2001, uh, 1001, sorry, once again, as subscreen. And there would be a parameter which we will now provide. We forgot the point here. 
in ABAP every row should finish with a point. And now we need to write the parameters and for this reason we write parameters here with the first parameter would be called p test one point and then we have to finish this selection the selection screen uh, selection screen and of screen sorry end of screen and the screen is 1001 here what we need now is we need to copy this we need to copy it three times because we have three tabs and what we will do is we will change the screens themselves and basically this is for this reason we just change here the uh, I did the same mistake again here so basically we need to say here 1002 here we need to say 1002 again and here we will say 1003 for the screen as we call them in the first part where we declare them so to say and basically here we will change the variables as well because they should be uh, sorry these are for the parameters and they would be different okay what else do we need we need of course an initialization of the report uh, in initial the initialization part is very important and we will now also say how these tabs exactly would be called and we do this through tab one I mean this is how we'll call it three times so we have three tabs and we'll just now call it two, tab two tab three and basically we will now say add selection screen well we need to check uh, what the SU com is basically what exactly is clicked on and here we say when um, when um, sec yeah and and here we say when um, tap one when tap one basically we need to write message let's say what exactly is clicked on tap one uh, clicked or tap one selected and this would be message type s because we don't want to finish the program if we if we write here E, it would be the end of the program or it would be considered as an error but now we have to basically we have to copy this part three times once again and now we say tab 2 tab 3 and here we say tab 2 is selected and here tab 3 and we of course have to end the case um, check and I'm a little bit sensitive when it comes to to the capital letters and this is the reason I will correct them now um, yep and now we have to start one one one, one we, we need one more thing and basically this is the start of the selection and furthermore we would do, write something like write uh, neuro and then we'll say active sorry active tab would be active tab would be just a second this would be the the the, the tab active tab and we will copy this row through um, through the uh, control and and D this is the command with which you copy the, the, the rows here in ABAP and basically now we have the active subscreen we'll write in order to be able to see which are the active subscreens and or the, the, the dim pros as we are calling, calling them uh, this is this would be the, the number here okay 
This is the most important par part and what we also need is of course to say which is the active tab and this would be the tab 2. We need an active tab of course and we also need a tab and the rip ID of the program. And this was it guys, actually this must be functioning. Um, let's, let's check this program, there are no mistakes. And basically now we have three, tab, three tabs, uh, we declare them, we set subscreens to them or dim pros. Uh, there are the names of the tabs, there, this is the case, on, uh, it, it, uh, I mean there is a case when the selection is coming so to say and basically we are considering what exactly would be clicked on and it is here said that the active tab is tab 2 and so we will basically see this here coming so to say out of it so let's let's execute this program well first of so first of all we have to activate it and then to execute it and basically here we have the tabs and now we are able to, to say something here, like D. And the tab, this active tab is tab 2, the active subscreen is 2002. And these are actual settings which we, we are able to, I mean these are informations which we are able to use in the different, um, in the different programs, I mean the different logics, it depends on what exactly we need to do. So this was it guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, that you have learned something new from it. This is a very interesting feature in my opinion and I think that a lot of people do not know how to implement it even though they need it in different programs which they are developing in ABAP. And if you have some comments on what I've just done or questions, you are able to ask me in the comments. If you have some comments on how we can, how can, I can do it better or something like this, feel free to, to say it as well. This is the reason, the main reason why I'm making this channel because I really want to gather people around me with whom we would be able to um, talk about ABAP, to develop our, ourselves, so to say, together and to learn from one another. I wish you all the best guys and till next time. Goodbye.